Welcome to Isolation. I'm Mikinomakai, and this is our solitude. The TV seems on. Want to turn it off? Huh? You know, I don't think I do want to turn it off. This seems very important. Nope, can't hear you. I'm very busy listening to my TV. Alright. Have fun. Do not attempt to investigate. Okay, so stay indoors. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Something opened. Wait, I died? <laughs> okay. Fun fact. TV means danger. You know what? Yeah, I think we should turn it off. I know the rules. Don't speak to anyone. Don't go outside. You know, just the casual things. It's off. Haha, <laughs> try sneaking up on me now. You took a look at your messy and filthy room. Disgusting. Now, I'm pretty sure I was told not to speak to anyone. So, uh, you know what? I don't think I am going to answer that. Nah. Then again, that was a bad idea last time with the TV. Maybe I should have answered it. Alright. What now? Oh, I should have answered that phone. In the suffocating silence, weeks passed since the unanswered ring echoed. A haunting reminder of the call you avoided. Fingers tremble, dialing again, but hope slips away with each futile attempt. Shadows close in, the world outside fades, leaving you alone in this chilling void. The phone, a cruel accomplice to a choice that led to a hopeless solitude. Okay, I've learnt my lesson. We completely ignore the TV. We need to speak to people. Answer the phone. You answered the phone. A voice on the other side whispers. Thank God, someone answered. Hey, I'm in a tight spot on the first floor. I need a key to slide this door open. I was thinking of busting it, but that could probably alert them. I'm betting the key is chilling on the seventh floor. Look. We've been cooped up in this place for months, and food's long gone. No sign of the government either. Let's get out of here together. Do I even know this person? Should I trust them at all? I could really use your help to quietly slip out through the back door. Could you go get it for me? Like, right now? Please. Call ended. Ah, well, like, see, I'm not really given much of a choice then. Do I know that person? Should I really be risking my life for them? It's been months since you last heard a human voice, and right now, you feel determined. Before you embark, do you want to take a look at the window? Sure, why not? Me refusing has only led to my death previously. You open the window. Oh, damn! What kind of I am legend apocalyptic universe have we found ourselves in? So uh, what are we dealing with then? Zombies? Body snatchers? Germanized plague? It smells funny. The outside looks devastated. You done looking yet? No. No, I don't believe I am. You take another look at it. You feel like you're being watched from afar. You see a mysterious humanoid figure in the distance, looking at you. The funny smell turns to a putrid odor. You feel unsafe. You're no longer safe. Ah, maybe looking out the window was a bad idea. You approach the door. You slowly and nervously opened it. You're in the hallway. Want to knock on one of the doors? Well, the TV told me not to see or speak to anyone. And listening to the TV has only resulted in my death twice. So I'm going to knock on the doors. Knock, knock. Want to knock again? Well, if you're going to give me the option to, why not? Knock, knock. Knock again. Okay, sooner or later someone's going to have to answer the door. Knock, knock. 
was there? Oh, oh, maybe it was a bad idea to get you to answer the door, huh? You look like you've seen every single ghost. Someone answered. The door is opening. Let me guess. I die. You're doomed. Okay. I've learnt my lesson. Sometimes it does pay to listen to the TV, so don't knock on the doors. You proceed to go through the hallway. You're in front of the elevator. Do we really want to trust the elevator right now? I mean, it's the end of the world. If we die here, we're going to deserve it. You're in it. You proceed to go to the seventh floor. You're in front of the door. You opened it. Oh, well, unfortunately, we made it here safely. The room is... clean. Wow, how envious. You take a look at the room and notice both a paper and a book. The paper seems to be a riddle. I wonder what it's for. One, I'm the Trinity, a magic spell, counting sides of a triangle well, and blind mice, I play a part. Which number holds my heart? Okay, so that's three, right? So three blind mice, Trinity is three. Two. I'm a digit not odd nor even, a prime number you believe in. In the rainbow you find me with glee, lucky in casinos, what am I? I, I feel like I should say seven, right? Because that's, that's the lucky number in casino, right? But seven is odd, so why would you not be odd or even? I mean, zero is zero, neither odd nor even. But I don't think zero is lucky. Three. I'm odd but alive. In the hand, fingers I derive. A counting rhyme, a famous cue. How many senses? I am the clue. Okay, guess so that one's five. Four. I'm the corners of a square. Roll a die, find me there. Seasons in a year, not one more. How many do you need to score? Okay, four. So, three, potentially seven, five, four. So we're going to have some kind of combination somewhere, right? Want to read the book? It seems long. About three stanzas. That's not too bad, read it. Upon closer inspection, it seems to be a poem titled Redacted. How down bad. Beneath the shadows of the shattered dream, in echoes of love, no longer a gleam. Redacted, a name now laced with pain, in broken verses, our hearts refrain. Yet hope lingers in the depths within, a wish that new beginnings might begin. Her laughter, once a melody so sweet, may find its way back, our hearts to greet. Eyes where galaxies of hope once resided, now reflect the stars of love, unrequited. Through tears that fall like gentle rain, I yearn for a love that can rise again. Pathetic. Ugh. You take another look at the neat room and notice a painting. Ah, you're sitting in desperate need of some payment. It's a painting of a broke man in the 19th century. Literally me. Would you like to donate? I mean, I, I have neither money nor means to donate to you as you're a painting, but um, sure, why not? It's just a painting. There's nothing we can do. Well, I tried. After taking a closer look, it appears there's something hidden beneath the painting. There's our combination. It's a safe. Not too surprising. Now, go ahead and figure it out. No jokes on you, I've already figured it out. Okay, so, three? I'm gonna put it as seven. It, lucky casino number feels seven-ish. Uh, five, and then four. That good noise? That was a good noise. You unlocked it. Yay. Tell me, what were you hiding within your safe? It's time to go now, I guess. Wait, what was in the safe? Oh, a word of asylum. Oh, maybe it was the key we needed. That would make sense. I had forgotten about that. 
You're in front of the elevator again. Listen, we're going downstairs this time. Do we really need to visit this? We're gonna die here. Definitely not scary. You know the way, right? It's quite dark. Go to the right hallway. Hmm. I'm not convinced the right hallway is the way I should be going. Nah, I'm not feeling it. You proceed to move through the hallway. Oh, um. I don't know why I'm surprised. Wait, it got this much damage in months. This place looks like it's been abandoned for years. Almost there. I, I take it back. It's gotten so much worse. I want to see how bad it could get at the very end. Maybe it turns into like a cavern system. How long had you been walking? It can't be that long. Well, maybe someone else has been tunneling out the hallways. We're never going to reach the end, are we? Oh, take it back. There's the exit. Where is he? You left the apartment. I'm curious then. What happens if we do go to the right hallway? You decided to go to the right hallway. At the end of the hallway, you see a mirror. Weird. You take a closer look at the mirror and see. You. You decided to return. It's quite dark. Go to the right hallway. You decided to go back to the right hallway. At the end of the hallway, you see a mirror. Weird. Why did you come back? And why is my text fading? Oh! It seems I'm not the only one in the mirror now. You take a closer look at the mirror and see. You. You run back. You proceed to move through the hallway. Wait, I want to go back to the mirror. Ah, oh, man. Well, I tried. I kind of expected to die there as well, not gonna lie. Almost there. How long had you been walking? It can't be that long. Where is he? You left the apartment. What's the bed in there? That as soon as we stepped outside the apartment, the humanoid figure we saw from the window is waiting for us, and we most likely died. If you enjoyed your time here, really appreciate you like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, it's spooky day, and I'll catch you next time, guys.